Okay, now it is time to look a bit uh, into the height editor in the editor. <laughs> As we can see here, we got an island with four different plateaus and four different cliff heights. Not that it matters, but just to show you that um, it's a terrain, it's done. The only thing that you might want to uh, to change about it is the height. And as we can see, if we are using uh, the real-time strategy perspective, I guess it's what it's supposed to be called, then it looks all right. The, the cliffs and the textures do all the work. So if it's some kind of melee maps, then try to focus on those instead of the height, because when you look at it on top, then it doesn't really matter. It looks quite fine. If you, on the other hand, want to make some kind of 3D adventure game, then you will quickly be disappointed as soon as you get down in ground height. So what you want to do is to make some believable uh, height <laughs> some believable height modifications that uh, that will look good. The first thing you want to start with is look at the map and then picture in your head what looks good when it's heightened and what what looks good when it's lowered. And uh, as any other terrain tool, then you want to to make the tool do all the work for you. You don't want to go into a little bit a little area here, over here and say this needs to be higher or lowered because it will just look so fake when you do everything precisely as you think it should be. So now I will just do as I think it would look good on this island, uh, you know, modifying the height, and then you can see how I process my terrain. And then, uh, well, maybe if you think it looks cool, then maybe you should try it yourself. What I always start with is taking uh, the raise tool, just go down the size a little bit, depending on what you want. Amplitude, uh, doesn't really matter. You don't have to uh, be a wuss about what you're going to raise all over. But just see mine, I mean, I just raise it because I think this should be high. Yeah, and this should be high because trees on hills looks cool. And this could be nice high as well. Oh yeah, and a plateau almost, you know, heightened all around. Looks cool. Looks cool. Have I missed anything? Yeah. And this this spot, you know, the middle of the island, uh, on the island on the top of the clip, definitely needs to be high. It looks horrible right now, but as I'm saying, let the tools do the working. And there we go. But yeah, I think I've pretty much marked out the f places I want my heights to. Uh, uh, where I want my height to be high. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stupid English language. Uh, but then I take uh, the lower tool because, well, if there's high places, then there definitely are also some low places. And uh, don't worry about it going down to the water texture or anything. Fuck that. It'll get smoothed out, smoothed out anyway. I'll try not to t touch this, like, this path so much because it's a path, so it, so it shouldn't really be, like, big height differences. But it, it'll, you know, take the meaning out of the path. I mean, it is something you just have to experiment with and see what works best for you. I can't really, I don't, can't really come up with a sp specific rule on how to make stuff pretty. It's all a perspective thingy. But now I seem like the middle of the plateau seems like a good place to uh, to lower and uh, all the cliffs and so on and heighten a little bit just to give it some atmosphere. And it looks horrible now, but when we take the smooth tool and let the smooth tool do all the work, crank up the size like hell. Amplitude, uh, not too high, because at least until you know how the tool works and how, how much it moves and so on, you just want to take it like a, a little bit slow. But the first thing you want to do is just to go over the terrain, just a little bit, just make sure you smooth out enough for the <laughs> water to disappear at least. And smooth it out so there isn't any major, major shadows. Of course they can be, can be used to create a good effect, but if we want a 3D person game, then we don't really want them. So let's see it in the ground perspective now. Well, already now, it looks much better. But as you can see, uh, it's not really a natural valley. That would be <laughs> that would be pretty sad to say. Um, so what we're going to do now is just use the smooth tool a bit more. Oh, well, is this the desired effect I wanted to? And oh my god, yes it is. It's a smooth terrain, and then when we generate uh, foliage, foliage, I can't remember, when we generate the data, it would actually look quite cool. And this, uh, it, it's acceptable. And over here, uh, uh, oh my god, what is this, Warcraft 3? Well, no, definitely want to use the smooth tool a bit here. Just going a bit crazy. Do, 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 do. 
there we go, because I definitely wanted my middle of the of the island to be big, since there was a lot of cliffs and so on. So I, I thought it would look cool. But it, need, it needed overall, it needed a, a lot of smoothing. See, the height there is still a little bit too high. It looks very unnatural, especially down in this perspective. This this could actually work. It almost looks, looks like World of Warcraft now. In any case, I'm quite happy with the terrain now. And uh, what you want to do after you have used the terrain tool, this is something that you just need a lot of experimenting with to see what really works for you. But really raising the terrain a lot and lowering it a lot in other places and then just letting the smooth button do all the work for you, it really works out very well most of the time. You just have to picture it in your head how it how it should look and then it well when you're done it it'll generally look like that then you can of course go in and make the small changes uh, like for example this path that it's a path so you know it should be something that you're able to walk on so obviously take like and uniform this little path just to make it more believable and the cliffs also and then smooth that out as well Oh, that might be a bit too much moving. As you can see now, it's um, much more realistic. The path, it's straight. It's not like... Uh, I mean, if it's not a path, then it... If it's a path, then it shouldn't be like, you know, like a cliff. <laughs> I don't know. But as you can see, uh, my general uh, advice would be to use lower and raise like hill. Oh, God, generate the foli uh, foliage. Ah, I'll never pronounce it right. Then just use it a lot, like way more than you have to, and then just let the smooth tool do all the work. Because in that way, it will be very... Jesus Christ, definitely need to use it here. <laughs> but in that way, it will seem much more natural than if you go in and do all the small modifications yourself. But that that is just an advice, it's a matter of perspective, but I think, I think that this looks pretty. And, well, if it's uh, an advice you can use, then let me know, and uh, I'll probably make a video or two more if I can find any good tips. But uh, until then, peace out.